Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. In a recent revelation, royal biographer Tom Bauer has shed light on the decision of King Charles to not meet his youngest son, Prince Harry, during the latter's visit to the UK, branding it as the monarch denying a photo opportunity. The Duke of Sussex has announced his decision not to meet his father due to the monarch's purportedly busy schedule. However, speaking on GB News, Bauer suggested that this move by Buckingham Palace was strategic, a measure to thwart an attempt by the Sussexes to garner positive PR. Bauer emphasized the significance of the Duke's subsequent trip to Nigeria, implying that it was part of an orchestrated effort by Harry and Meghan to boost their public image. He claimed that Meghan's planned visit to Nigeria, under the guise of familial connections, was a calculated move to portray herself as a member of the royal family, despite having previously sought privacy in California. According to Bauer, the king and his advisors perceived this maneuver as a ploy to bolster the Sussex's brand, which he claims was suffering. By denying Harry the desired photo opportunity, King Charles was effectively thwarted by their attempt to exploit their royal status for personal gain. When asked whether this decision signaled a toughening stance by the monarch, Bauer suggested that King Charles had come to realize the detrimental effects of engaging with the Sussexes. He alleged that Harry and Meghan were capitalizing on the challenges faced by the royal family, particularly in light of recent controversies, to advance their own agenda. Furthermore, Bauer criticized the Sussexes for overshadowing the efforts of other members of the royal family, such as Prince William and Kate Middleton, by inserting themselves into the spotlight. He contended that it should have been William and Kate undertaking engagements like the one planned in Nigeria rather than the Sussexes. Meanwhile, Prince Harry marked the 10th anniversary of his Invictus Games in the company of family, friends, and veterans. Notably, the service of Thanksgiving was attended by close relatives of his late mother, Princess Diana, as well as a mentor who provided support to Harry following her passing. Among the guests were Lady Jane Fellows and Earl Spencer, siblings of Princess Diana along with former Army officer Mark Dyer, who served as a mentor to the Duke. Their presence underscored the significance of the occasion and the enduring legacy of Princess Diana within the royal family. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.